Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, 10 Days to Faster Reading, a creation by the Princeton Language Institute and Abby Marks Beale. In the book, 10 Days to Faster Reading, 2001, you'll learn strategies to tackle your mounting stack of books that you want to read. The author explains how to overcome unproductive reading habits and mindset and introduces efficient reading techniques that will enable you to read faster and remember more than ever before. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Abby Maxfield is the creator of Revit Up Reading, a program designed to improve one's speed reading abilities. She's also the author of Success Skills, Strategies for Study and Lifelong Learning, and the founder of The Corporate Educator, a corporate training organization. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, this text highlights the benefits of reading faster and improving reading comprehension. The key point is that by reading faster, one can remember more of the material they read. The text explains that while having a personal genie to grant wishes would be great, there are ways to become a faster and better reader without one. The book, 10 Days to Faster Reading, offers techniques and tips to become a faster reader in 10 days. By practicing these methods, readers can improve their reading speed and retention. The summarizer cover topics, such as common misconceptions about reading, how to extract information from a book without fully reading it, and the effects of underutilizing the brain's information processing abilities. Key idea number one, reading can be a source of self-imposed pressure. The problem with reading is not having enough time, but rather not reading efficiently. You don't have to read everything to understand it, so prioritize what's important. You don't have to remember everything either. Create a retrieval system by writing down the key information or making highlights and notes. Reading during work hours is actually part of your job and can help with new ideas, staying updated and beating the competition. Don't be afraid to read at work. Key idea number two, improving reading efficiency involves eliminating bad habits. Reading habits can be formed over time including bad habits like daydreaming, regression, and subvocalizing. To fix daydreaming, engage in active mind-wandering by connecting what you're reading to your own experiences. Avoid regression by covering the text you've just read, and only go back if necessary to understand the meaning or unfamiliar words. Stop subvocalizing by focusing on keywords and skipping over the rest, or by making rhythmic noises while reading. These strategies help improve reading efficiency and speed. Key idea number three. The text suggests that reading faster can be achieved by taking shortcuts. To become a faster, more efficient reader, follow these three steps. One, have a clear purpose and responsibility for what you read. Two, preview non-fiction material to get an idea of its content and relevance. Three, learn and practice speed reading techniques. Key idea number four reading only. The keywords can help increase reading speed. The text explains the importance of learning to read faster and provides strategies for becoming a more efficient reader. These strategies include focusing on important words, reading thought groups instead of separate words, and training peripheral vision. The text encourages trying out different techniques to find the ones that work best for the individual reader. Practicing these strategies may initially cause eye strain, but will ultimately lead to improved reading speed and comprehension. Key idea number five. Two additional techniques to consider are reading between the lines and indenting. To become a better reader, there are a few tricks you can try. Instead of sub-vocalizing, focus on the white space above each line to avoid fixating on the words. Use the indenting method by aiming your eyes slightly inside the left margin and stopping before the right margin using your peripheral vision. This reduces starts and stops and increases reading speed. Draw vertical lines inside the margins to help you start and stop your eye movement. Relearning a skill can be frustrating, but stick with it for the rewards. 
Key idea number six. To improve reading speed, use your hand or a pen to guide your eyes. Using a finger or object to pace reading can be helpful as eyes naturally follow movement. Placing your finger to the left or right of a line and moving it down the page can guide your eyes more quickly. In narrow columns, placing your finger in the center and moving it down or in a snake shape can help guide your eyes. Covering the text you've already read prevents regression. These methods develop fast reading habits but can eventually be let go. In conclusion, most of us stop receiving reading training after elementary school, leading to outdated reading habits as adults. In order to keep up with the fast-paced world and get the most out of reading, it is necessary to relearn how to prioritise, preview and speed up reading. It is advisable to take a break every 20 minutes while reading, as research suggests that people can only concentrate effectively for about 20 minutes at a time. Taking a five-minute break every 20 to 30 minutes allows the brain and eyes to rest. It is important not to read for more than an hour before taking a break. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.